Hi there. I thought I'd take this uh, opportunity to go through uh, setting up a projector. Just a, a quick video on some of the settings that we see um, and misconfigurations we see in the Zoom room. So here's an example. Um, I have a projector sitting on an FPP instance. Uh, my particular one is on a Pi 4. There are, if it's not on a Pi 4, you can use virtual matrix. Mine's on a Pi 4. What that means is you have two potential HDMI outputs. If I click on the visualize, you'll see I've got it connected to my virtual matrix one. Um, that's the closest one to the power um, input on a Pi 4. Uh, the check marks, auto layout, auto size, full X lights control, they can be set, but they're really not used. Um, active X lights only meaning it's running as a remote. That's normally what you would set here. If you have any more questions on that, there is another x -Lights bonus gem on setting up your controller tab. And uh, the other setting here would be, um, you add your IP address, that's all good. All right, so with those settings there, you would upload your outputs and then you could open your FPP. You could go to your input output setups just going to review channel outputs. You shouldn't have to change anything, but we can verify that it indeed get pushed. Uh, your virtual matrix is there. Your the definition, the size comes from X lights. Don't change these. You have to change them in X lights and upload them. Otherwise, they'll be out of sync. Um, there should be nothing in the E one thirty one if this if this FPP instance is only running a projector. There should be nothing listed here. If there is, there's probably something wrong on your controllers tab. And again, check back uh, the other bonus gem on how to clean that up. And uh, it is set as a remote, not in player mode. So it's going to receive data or going to receive signals from the master that's playing the schedule to say, play my video, play my sequence, um, and run the projector. Um, then we go to FPP settings. Here's a couple things that I want to review. Under the UI tab, change to advanced, then go back to audio video. By going to advanced mode, we get this checkbox here, ignore media sync packets. When you're seeing lag or pause or what appears to be skipping forward, skipping back, we seem to suggest putting in the check mark here to ignore media sync packets. If it's working without that, fine. But if you're having problems with lagging and skipping and uh, other hesitations, go ahead and put that check mark in there. Uh, it seems to work regardless, but um, feel free to make that change. Under system is another thing you have the ability to force HDMI display. That means that the projector doesn't necessarily have to be turned on when your FPP instance is on, or it, it, you can turn on after the FPP. Normally, the projector needs to be up and running so that the FPP can see the projector and say, yep, you've got a HDMI. By having this check mark on there, it doesn't matter. It'll assume that there will always be an HDMI output. It'll always output, even if the projector's turned off, so that you can turn it on later. Maybe you have a timer or something like that. Uh, force HDMI resolution. Default usually works, but we've had some people having good success by actually telling it what is the native output of your projector. If you know that number, you might want to try this and see if that helps you out uh, getting uh, rid of maybe letterboxing, you know, the black bars that are on the top sides of your video uh, when it's being projected. So this might help you there. That's it. Hope you have some uh, good success with your projector. If you have any questions, come on back to the uh, X-Lite Zoom room. Thanks.